Um, how do people know that Jesus Christ, when they ponder, when people always ponder the book as if the book is a book, like you don't, maybe you have to face the book at some time. What is the psychology of these people? The mechanics. So what if Jesus was just like a traveling doctor? They didn't really have a job, but that was his job. And there wasn't like a priest like we think. There wasn't like a church like we think. Um, people would go around. He, he would teach how to do things like this. Um, through the course of his studies or whatever, they would go out as like a disciple or, you know, they'd spread the news. Um, and the news, it wouldn't be like fake news because it deals in frequency and energy. It has real life applications. And so, um, you know, that was like one of the things he specialized in. He had like a higher mind for frequency and energy. So we could see how the universal mechanics worked. Um... Not just the mechanics of how matter responds or how to create a crowd or gravity um, to get the stuff that he needed. Um, whereas opposed we go out. Uh, he had more like a thing to contribute. So it drew people in. But at the same time he didn't like, um, you know, want to sit idle, I guess, or sit at like a throne like a king or a queen. You know, like, that's like, that seems boring, right? You sit there, like, barking orders and, you know, no offense to the hierarchies and all that stuff. It just seems boring. But, um, you know, he was probably just, some, like, like, among the people. And he would travel around, and he would level up off that. And he would level us up. And basically, um... If we didn't take advantage of that, he would turn, like, inside out. And if he was supposed to give wisdom, say, like, I don't know, so much percent or three parts or whatever of wisdom, he was going to give that while he was here, but he didn't. Then he would destroy off the inverse that place, that time and place, um, and give all the opposite just by the nature of him. And uh, he would destroy all the wisdom, cause confusion. Things like that, we would be confused, perplexed, in disarray. You know, we'd be trying to put, like, the pieces back for a long time. And But he had a different way of life to teach, and everybody could kind of see that about him. You know, in the old days, obviously, uh, I guess eccentric or something they would say. And, you know, basically, I think, you know, we would get taught, like, uh, teachers and stuff like that. What we think is teachers, I don't, I don't think it's really teachers. And what, you know, what we're seeing that what academia is and academics isn't really academics and learning. That stuff's all kind of like the opposite. So we're seeing everything like the opposite. And stuff's kind of gravitating back to how they were in the earlier times, uh, the ancient times, especially for sociology. Because the I am is like the opposite of identity politics. You know, it offers like a imperviousness or imperviability <laughs> against uh, of anything. Sociology, uh, security, inner science, health stuff. <laughs> Laughter is medicine. Make light instead of make heavy. You know, um, there's whole inner science that I think we take for granted, and then we do this science out in the world stuff, you know, how to climb the ranks out in the world while we neglect the inside learning, learning process, twilight zone. We kind of say that for a while, we kind of say that with pseudoscience. Uh, Twilight Zone and all that stuff and in some ways it is so you always got to keep things simple you can't live there you can't stay there um, you have to come back down and make sense of it all
but a lot of that spiritual stuff can be overwhelming, very compelling. Then we think the Lord compels me to speak, ye, and all that. But that's not really what I do. So not really whatever I did. And uh, I'm just talking about this inner science. It doesn't really have much to do with haircuts or uh, matter, garbs, cover. It's an inner thing. It's an inner business. Infinite, infinite inner business. It's a secret to everybody. <laughs>